This film begins with Chief Police Inspector Bond trying to arrest the biggest drug mafia leader in Hong Kong. At that time Bond is having a hard time catching the mafia boss named Young and his younger brother, Roy. When Bond's partner is taken hostage by Young, he manages to take Young hostage in return. They both demand to release their partners. Suddenly, Young attacks while driving, and Bond's partner dies. After that, Young and Roy escape. The scene then introduces Ming, a brave and talented undercover policeman. One day, he is with his gang, preparing to distribute drugs. As Ming gets ready to leave, Bond and his team attack them and search all the cars. The police find evidence of the drugs. Shortly after, Bond asks Ming for his ID. Ming tells Bond that he is a police officer from Team B of the Special Task Force, led by Captain Wong. However, Bond, who knows Wong, is unsure whether to believe him. But then, Bond's partner reports that Ming took some drugs as evidence. Bond accuses Ming of being a corrupt cop. He tells Ming to cooperate so they can cover up the incident. Hearing that, Ming agrees to his request. For two years, Ming has been working undercover as a drug dealer. One day, he drives his fancy car to his apartment. When he arrives, he turns off the CCTV cameras to make it safer to meet with Captain Bond. Ming also has a secret room in his apartment that his neighbors don't know about to keep his cover safe. In the secret room, Ming meets with Bond. They talk about their main target, Young, who is very hard to find. There, Ming tells Bond that he gets paid 100 million by Young for selling drugs. Upon hearing that, Bond writes this down in his investigation book and keeps the money as evidence. They also discuss where the drugs are made. Ming says Young has two bases he knows about, Tsing Yi Harbor and Lung Kuir Tan Harbor. There are two more possible locations, but Ming hasn't found them yet. He also mentions that he saw a pile of weapons at Young's headquarters, which are sold by a guy named Cao. There, Bond tells Ming to deal with Cao. The day of the raid arrives. Ming is in a car with his mafia gang, pretending to play a game. But the game actually has a cow tracker. Bond is tracking the GPS and sees it heading to South Tsing Yi Harbor. He orders his team to get ready to take action. Back to Ming, one of his colleagues got annoyed because he was playing games while working. Angry, his colleague threw away Ming's device. When Bond noticed the tracking device was off, he decided to move towards the port. Meanwhile, at the cargo terminal of Tsing Yi Port, Young was busy making drugs. Ming and his colleagues were relaxing there. Soon, Ming's colleague, Tager, arrived with grenades, worried that the police might attack. At that time, he was shocked and confused by Tager's actions. At the same time, Captain Bond's team arrived and got ready to attack the Mafia headquarters. The attack began, and a fierce gunfight broke out causing Young's men to panic. In the chaos, Ming and his partner escaped through the back door. Captain Bond broke in to catch Young. During the fight, Tager cut off the gas flow, causing Bond to fall into the water. Unfortunately, Tager and Young managed to escape. Meanwhile, Ming, who had been outside for a long time, pretended to help Young escape from the police. Suddenly, Bond chased after them. Ming got shot by Bond, but Bond quickly helped him. The chase with Young wasn't over yet. Bond's partner crashed into Young's car. Roy, who was nearby, was thrown when Bond's car hit his. Roy died instantly. Seeing this, Young had to leave Roy behind. In the chaos, Young managed to escape from the police. The next morning, Captain Bond was called to his boss's office. His boss asked about Ming's condition. Bond said Ming was still in the hospital. But then, Bond's boss reminded him that Ming's undercover identity was still safe and that they needed to arrest Young soon. Afterward, Bond went to the hospital to tell Ming. He felt worried about Ming's safety, but Ming, who loves excitement, wanted to continue the mission. The scene then moves to Young meeting a Yakuza boss. There, he told Young to deliver the drugs within 10 days. He also threatened that if Young failed like before, he would kill Young. After the threat, Young called his men to supply the drugs to another mafia boss named Yang Yuzin. At that time, Young's girlfriend overheard and warned him that betraying the Yakuza could be dangerous. But there, Young ignored her and decided that if the Yakuza boss tried to harm him, he would deal with him first. The scene moves to the main road where all the police are escorting Ming, who will continue his undercover mission. There, he pretends to hold Bond hostage and demands that the police release Cao. Finally, Ming successfully escapes with Cao. 
The scene shifts to the Golden Triangle, showing Gwyn, the head of the Mafia and a supplier of drug materials for Young. At that moment, Gwyn is seen making a drug deal with the biggest Mafia in Macau. After the deal, Young calls Gwyn, asking him to send the drug materials quickly. But there, Ying Gwyn, who knows about the police attack, also mourns the death of Young's brother. However, during their conversation, he annoys Young by asking for a drug recipe. Young, frustrated, tells Nguyen to only contact him when the materials arrive. The scene switches to Ming, who is ordered to get a gaming device. It turns out, the device is actually a tapping device to communicate with Bond. After getting the device, he meets Captain Bond who is waiting in the car. They discuss the attack plan. While talking, Bond notices that Ming is being followed by one of Young's men. Then, he quickly tells Ming that he had the IT team install a fake message on the tapping device. If Ming is in danger, that message could save him. The next day, Young finds out from a colleague that Roy's body was burned by the police as revenge. Earlier in the film, Roy had attacked a police officer's family. Furious, Young rushes to the cemetery. When he gets there, he angrily attacks Bond's men while they are praying. Captain Bond quickly steps in and stops Young. There, he threatens to burn Bond's entire team, but Bond is not afraid and threatens him back. That evening, Bond gets a call from Ming, who reveals an important fact that the drug kingpin supplying Young is Gwen. These two mafias work together. Ming also mentions that a woman named Xiao makes the drugs. She used to make drugs with her husband Zhang, who was a chemistry teacher. One day, Nguyen forced them to make more drugs. When the police raided their lab, Zhang was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Zhang died after a year in jail, and Nguyen then forced Xiao to continue making drugs. Meanwhile, Young is called by the Mafia boss and told to meet because he dared to sell drugs to a rival Mafia. When Young arrives and meets the Yakuza boss, a fierce fight breaks out. In the end, Young kills the Yakuza boss and escapes with his girlfriend. The next morning, Bond gets news that his colleague has found Xiao and her daughter heading to a nearby hotel. Just as Bond is getting ready to arrest Xiao, he hears that his son is being chased by triad gangsters and involved in a fight. Bond decides to help his son first. When Bond arrives at the fight, he is attacked by the gangsters. Soon after, a fist fight breaks out, and Bond eventually points a gun at them, making them run away in fear. After helping his son, Bond is shocked when his son blames him and gets angry, feeling abandoned. Later, Bond's informant tells him that his son was involved in a fight at a club and broke someone's hand. The victim turns out to be the son of the triad gang boss. Bond is devastated and worried that his son will get into bigger trouble. He asks a friend in the police to help with his son's case. The scene switches to Xiao's daughter, Ling, who is seen leaving. Ling meets a delinquent boy, and they go out together. Xiao is informed by her right-hand man named Han that Ling went with a boy she met online. After hearing that, Xiao becomes worried about her daughter. Returning to Ling, after arriving at the nightclub, the man showed his bad intentions. He took Ling's bag, kidnapped her, and sent inappropriate videos to Xiao, demanding a ransom of $1 million. He promised to keep the video safe and told Xiao not to call the police. Shortly after, Xiao and Han arrived at the place where Ling was being held. The police, who had been following Xiao all day, were also there. When she met the kidnapper to give him the money, she suddenly attacked him. At that time Han helped by fighting the other thugs. Soon after, Xiao found her daughter, but they were blocked by another thug. At that time, Bond and his colleagues heard the commotion. Then, Ling helped Xiao, and the kidnapper fell from the building. After that, Bond and his partner took the kidnapper and Ling to the police station. There, Xiao was questioned by the police, who had figured out everything about her. Bond realized that Xiao would work with Young, who makes drugs. However, Xiao strongly denied it, but Bond offered her a deal. If she became a police informant and helped catch Young, Bond would free her daughter. Upon hearing that, Xiao, who loved her daughter very much, agreed to work with him. She asked Bond to help and take good care of her daughter. The scene moves to Ming and Cao who are completing a delivery from Nguyen. Suddenly, Tager comes and tells them that Young wants to talk to them. When Young arrives, Captain Bond's men, who are watching the place, report it. However, Bond has personal business and has left. Without a signal from Bond, his men decide to attack Young's headquarters. Soon after, Young meets Ming and Cao, 
and tells them that the police have been following them while they were carrying goods from Nguyen. There, Young orders all his men to eliminate the police that night. At that time, Ming is shocked and becomes alert. Meanwhile, Bond is handling personal matters. He meets the informant he sent to help his son. Young's henchman follows Bond and discovers that the informant is the one who sold the game device to Ming. Bond then meets the boss of the Triad Gang to discuss their children's fight. The Triad boss is angry because Bond's son broke his son's hand. He orders his men to beat Bond so that the issue can be resolved and Bond's son, who is being held hostage by the Triad Gang, can be returned to him. Back to Young, where Bond's team has broken in to raid him. As they enter room after room, Young's men realize the police are there and get ready to fight. While the police are checking the rooms, they are suddenly attacked by Young's men, who want revenge for Roy's death. Meanwhile, Ming sees his police colleague being beaten by Tager. To keep his cover, Ming pretends to help Tager. At that time, Ming is forced to beat his police colleague and throws him off the building to stay safe. As the police try to find a way out of Young's headquarters, they are chased by Tager, Ming, and their men. Shortly after, Cao throws a Molotov cocktail, causing one policeman to die. Meanwhile, Young catches the policeman that Ming had saved earlier. When Tager and Ming meet Young, he orders his men to burn the policeman. In that moment, Ming feels hopeless and anxious because he can't save his fellow officer from a horrible death. After this, Bond arrives at the crime scene and sees eight of his colleagues dead. He feels devastated and regretful. Now, Bond is determined to arrest Young immediately. The scene moves to a game shop, where Bond's informant has been taken out by Joe. There, Joe also got CCTV footage from the shop showing that Ming betrayed him. He then called Cal and told him that Ming was a police spy. Joe promised to provide proof of Ming's betrayal if Cal met him at the Big Water Bridge. Soon after, Cao told Ming to go to the Big Water Bridge. At the bridge, Cao asked Ming if he was hiding any secrets. Ming admitted he was a police officer. Hearing this, Cao sprayed gas in Ming's face, and they started fighting. During the fight, Cao accidentally died. Meanwhile, Bond is called by his boss, who scolds him for being careless and causing the deaths of eight people. Unfortunately, he is suspended from duty. Afterward, he receives a video from Joe showing Ming killing Cao. At that time, Joe demands ransom money to keep Ming's cover safe. Ming also receives the same video and is threatened that it will be given to Young. Turns out, Joe uses this threat to control Ming. Long story short, Ming and Bond met at Ming's hiding place. Bond asked him to stop the mission because he had killed Cal. Then, Bond showed the video evidence and revealed that Joe was blackmailing him. Bond would rather arrest Ming than see him killed by Young. However, Ming insisted on continuing the mission. When Bond tried to arrest him, Ming resisted, and they fought. Unfortunately, Ming managed to escape. The next morning, Ming went to the meeting place to give the ransom money to Joe. Bond also went there to meet Joe. However, Joe trapped them. After that, he sent the video to the police from a different division than Bond. Soon after, the police arrived, and Ming had to run away. After a chase, Ming managed to escape. That evening, Worried about Joe's threats, Ming went to Joe's house to delete the evidence of Cao's murder. When Ming entered Joe's house, Joe attacked him. Suddenly, Joe's daughter appeared. At that time, Joe took his own daughter hostage but ended up hurting her. But fortunately, Ming managed to defeat Joe and deleted the video evidence. Despite the dangerous situation, Ming's fatherly instincts kicked in and he helped Joe's injured daughter. Then, Ming called the police and an ambulance leaving money and a letter. Shortly after, the police arrived at the scene and Ming run. The story switches to Bond, who is secretly listening to Xiao and Han in their room. They are talking about a transaction with Young. If it goes well, Xiao and Han plan to take money from Nguyen since they've only been getting 30% of their share. While Bond is listening, Xiao calls him and says she is leaving Young's headquarters. She also asks Bond to look after her daughter. Soon after, Bond and his team meet and discuss the plan. He explains that Xiao and Han will meet Young to exchange drugs for money. Bond warns that there might be a shootout and tells his team to avoid putting the public in danger. If necessary, he will give the order to take action. The story moves to Ming and Tager, who arrive at the exchange location. The police, who have been waiting, report to Captain Bond that Ming and Tager are there. Then, Bond orders his team to move in. Meanwhile, 
Xiao and Han are told by Nguyen's men that Young has arrived. Soon after, they get into their car to get the money. At that time, Bon sees Young get out of his car and suddenly starts shooting. Turns out, Han manages to overpower Nguyen's men and Young's guards. At the same time, the police are busy exchanging fire with the drug dealers. On the other hand, Ming cleverly placed a GPS in the car transporting drugs to track down Young's headquarters if the car got away. In that moment, Young managed to escape, and Han, who was holding Nguyen's right-hand man hostage, died in an explosion. There, Xiao, seeing Han die, was devastated. On the other hand, Bond, who saw Young escaping, got a call from Young asking him to meet somewhere. Soon after, Bond quickly went to the given address. Meanwhile, Ming, recognized by the police, was chased but managed to escape and followed the GPS car. Shortly after, Bond arrived at the meeting place, and Young got into his car. There, Young showed a video of Bond's son being held hostage. Enraged, Bond beat him up. Then, Young revealed the location of Bond's son, in the container area, then left the car. After knowing that, Bond rushed to the container area. When Bond arrived, he looked for his son, but then received another video from Young. It turned out Young had tricked him again. Seeing the video of his son being killed, Bond fainted. The scene moves to Ming, who found the drug manufacturing base and informed Bond. Soon after, Bond was finally waking up from fainting. There, he saw Ming's message with the location. After knowing that, he immediately rushed to the place. Back to Ming, who was sneaking into the base, he was suddenly hit from behind and captured by Young's men. They took Ming to Young. At that time, Young confronted Ming about his betrayal and told him he was no longer a policeman but a murderer. Angry and emotional, Young forced Ming to take drugs. While Young was shoving the drugs into Ming's nose, Bond and his team arrived to help him. Bond killed all of Young's men who were busy mixing drugs. Shortly after, Bond saw Ming vomiting from the overdose. Even though Ming was barely conscious, he helped Bond chase after Young, who was trying to escape. Meanwhile, Young's girlfriend betrayed him and teamed up with the Yakuza boss. The Yakuza boss's right-hand man, seeking revenge for his boss's death, also joined in. With the drugs gone, the Yakuza boss's right-hand man ordered his men to kill Young. As Bond and Young were fighting the Yakuza men, Ming came to help Bond. After defeating the Yakuza men, Ming was suddenly shot and died from the drug overdose. When Bond is sad about Ming's death, he chases after Young, who has run away. Meanwhile, Young's girlfriend stabs Young and then leaves. Soon after, Bond arrives in front of Young and angrily asks where his son is. Weak and helpless, Young tells Bond where to find his son. After that, Bond goes to the backyard of the headquarters, climbs into a container, and finds his son has been burned. At that moment, Bond gets into the container and cries while looking at his son. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is sometimes, being a double agent can really mess up your day. So maybe just stick to one job and avoid angry mafia girlfriends with sharp objects. Oh, and never trust someone who wants to show you a cool game.